Welcome back to Maintenance Made on a Budget. Today we're going to show you how to change out a sliding door on a 2002 Cougar Keystone fifth wheel. Uh, if you're in a similar situation and you want to see how to do this, I thought I'd make a video. So that what happened with this particular one is the bracket broke. And what they are is they're hanging doors. They'll hang on these sliders here so the problem is when you get to unscrew that so the door would sit up like this and it slides closed and if you can see inside there the other one's kind of broke so I originally was just going to take this one out and replace it but I'm gonna have to take this whole door off so the way we're going to do that is remove these two screws and then take the inside track apart where this would come off now the thing to remember is unfortunately the screws that are in there now are this shape which is a square head and uh, i thought they were going to be allen wrenches so you need to check that out first if you're in a similar situation like this where the door is broken and how did this happen well i think on one of the trips i was on we had some stuff stashed in here and i went up a really s steep incline hill and all i can hear it when i was pulling this thing all the stuff that i had in that room just slammed against the door and broke it down there and the the hinges are just little plastic pieces the one i ordered is going to be all metal so what i'm going to do so first is you're going to have to get Make sure if you can see the top, I'll throw in a picture here of what I have. Um, and then the replacement part as well, just in case you're interested. It, they're uh, sliding door uh, hangers. That's what these are. So um, make sure that you have a set like this to begin with, or maybe it's a Phillips head. I'm not going to be able to use these because I want to use the same type of screws in the event of a future break. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see when I put it together. But anyway, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the panel paneling and take the whole door off. Okay, so I removed, I removed those two screws. But as you can see, it's kind of wedged in there. So you're going to want to go from the back side. So we're going to go ahead and do that with this one. Screw here, and you see what I'm referring to. It's like a I don't know if you can see that it's a square, ah, it's not coming out of my camera, but it's a square uh, head fitting. So, this one will come off, All right? We'll take that and set it down, and then I've already loosened this one, so maybe I can get it out now or not. We'll probably just wait. Okay, so when you're loosening these screws on this rail, don't take them all the way out. You'll see here, they slide and come off, okay? So if you find yourself having to pull this off, all you gotta do is loosen those screws. Um, and then you can slide the rack this way and it'll just come falling down. Now, if in my situation, you're just needing to replace one, you don't even need to take this off. You may have to remove the access or the, the little trim piece if you can't get in here. But um, 
the uh, bracket itself, if you look on top here, I already got the door removed. You'll see that it actually, it they're designed to just, you know, you have this latch that comes around like that to lock it in place. So you'll have to, as the door is hanging, you'll have to open that up. And if you have to, you can adjust this piece. And you'll probably have to get a wrench. But like this one, you can turn the screw in or out. And it'll raise or lower that. But you might have to adjust it just a little bit. And then you can see here, as it hangs in there. So let's see. I can just take one off here. So it'll be hanging. Like this is my broke one here. Yeah, of course it's got jammed in there. I'll try this one. Anyways, that piece will hang like that. And you can see it's not, it's a little off. There we go. So all you gotta do is take the door and slide the door over and then the door should come right off. With And then that way you won't have to remove any of this paneling. But I'm, re I'm removing this track just to show for this video how this whole system works. Okay, but um, it'll look like that. So, on this door, this was the broke piece. The problem I had, and I had to take the door off because I can't get anything up in here to unscrew those stubborn square-headed screws. Um, I would, if you can find maybe a, um, uh, uh, those wrenches, the name of, um, Allen wrenches, maybe you can get a Allen wrench screw here and that way as it's hanging, you can just slip it in there and slowly take it off. But to change these out, the easiest way is just to remove the access panels slide the door where you can reach this piece and you'll have to like shake and jimmy the door so that it'll slide out now this one was stuck because it got jammed when the supplies th slammed up against this door so i had to remove the whole thing okay so where i'm at right now is we're going to go ahead and uh i'm going to keep the track in place um because i've already got the, the hangers there but if you had to remove or maybe the hanger broke, then you'll have to remove this whole piece. So again, it just hangs in by the uh, groove here. So you just loosen up the screw a little bit and then you'll slide this that way like this. And it'll just, and it'll come right off. So that's where we're at. So doors removed. And then you could take these out. All right, I'm gonna need two hands here. Okay, got the new bracket there. And then you just drill them back down. And I'm using the same bolts that it came with because even if I put the Phillips um, screw in there. I'm still going to have to take this door off regardless, so I figured I might as well just do it. Okay. All right, I got to get that a little bit straight. Thing is, when you put these new ones on, make sure that the, the latch here is facing the same direction. Um, because that way if you ever have to run into this problem again as the door is hanging you'll be able to get your finger through there pop that back and then you'll hold the piece with like a screwdriver and then pull the door that way and it should pop off of the rail system up here okay so that's that i'll just show kind of how it looks Okay, so I put it together, 
and I removed everything so you can see very clear how this thing works. So you'll see if this was all hanging in place, right? You have the door here, right? The I removed the, you know, the covers, so it'd be looking like that. Um, if you're able to get your fingers in underneath this, you may not have to even remove this piece. But what you need to do is, you would just get that latch, and you pull these latches back. And it's not, it's easier said than done. You pull the latch back, see how it closes over that? And then you would try to jimmy the door so that it'll slide out. And it's hard for me to do it with one hand. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, so I do apologize for the one-handed mess here, but anyway, you can see, let's see, it's not, it's easier said than done for sure. Oh, there we go. So, you know, you open that latch and then you would have to wiggle the bottom door because this would be still screwed in place, right? And there you go. It would just pop out and then you would do the same thing on this side. And then the whole door will be removed. Now, and the, my original problem is that one broke. So if I was able to get it down enough and just screw there, but the problem is there's no room in between, even when the door was hanging off. Um, so the best way to do is just remove the whole door. So you move it like that and you just put your new ones in. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this rail back in with the screws here as I showed you earlier, and cinch that in nice and tight. Okay, so I got the rail back in there. Um, as I showed you already, you don't need to remove this rail. I do not recommend it unless you absolutely have to. Problem is, I've got these screws inside here. Good luck reaching all the way in the back through there. I was able to get that one and one in the back and I could barely get it. And then there's one in, way in the back in between the cabinet and the door that is not connected but it's very solid i mean it's not going anywhere but just if you don't have to remove this don't do it and there's the door um now you can adjust you know if you need to raise the door up or not you'll get a little crescent wrench and you'll have to open open that little clamp see it okay you open the clamp and then you can get your little crescent wrench and adjust as you, as necessary and then close it back okay so there it is that's how you install those hangers um i don't re do not remove this it was a pain in the butt putting it back, uh, mainly because I can't reach in there and you may not even be able to get it off anyway. So ideally, if any of these break, you can just open that lever. And then the trick I did is I stuck my left foot under the door, pushed up to get the door level while I was holding it, right? And then, um, so if, like if I'm taking it off, you'll open that you'll push up on the door to relieve, see? And then you can just put your finger in there and push the hanger out and the door will come right out. When I was taking the door off, I had to kind of work it this way and then slide it straight out that way. All right, and there's the final product, guys. So like I said, it's not um, too difficult. It's just a bit of a pain in the butt, but Hopefully this video, you're able to see how to do it and you won't go through so many pains as I did. Um, but if this video helped you out in replacing your hanger door on your fifth wheel, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, Maintenance Made on a Budget, as I'm all about doing all these maintenance type jobs and some projects as well uh, on a tight budget. Uh, so these hangers weren't very expensive, as I said, and um, definitely can do it yourself and get your privacy back. Uh, thanks, guys.